FNAF fans, <laughs> what is coming in 2020? I can answer that right now, okay? If you want, if you don't want to watch the video in detail, a lot of stuff is coming, okay? It's going to be another great year for FNAF. Um, a lot of projects now because it's all branching out because Scott is allowing other companies to work on his franchise. So we don't have to just have one game that Scott makes once a year now. Uh, we get a bunch of other stuff as well, including the books. Uh, there's a bunch of books coming out this year. Um, some comic books as well, uh, based on the original novels, which is really cool. Um, we've got FNAF AR, we've got FNAF VR, we've got the 2020 game. Project Scott could be making as well. Uh, we've got the film. Uh, we've got Into Madness. Uh, we've got the other third party company who might be working on a FNAF game this year. There's a lot of stuff, guys, and I'm going to go through each one and talk to you about it in detail. But like I said, you don't have to watch the whole video. Uh, this is just for the soul, like, people who are interested in detail what is about to happen this year. Um, but I've already said what's happening. Uh, and the ports, guys, the FNAF ports um, for console and mobile. I just wanted to, you know... Tell them now, so you don't have to watch the whole video. Um, but if you are interested, stick around, because it's going to be a good one. Because uh, there's a lot of exciting things that are coming in 2020. <laughs> Not my dancing. So, honestly, guys, I'm just so freaking excited for this year. Like... It's going to be a good one. I can feel it in my bones. Um, it's just going to be another good year. 2019 was amazing for FNAF, as you know. It was really, really good. We had some amazing games come out. And it was really, really awesome. But I'm out of breath now. But this one, 2020, seems to be bigger than last year. Okay? Which is crazy to think about. Because like I said, last year was amazing. But this year, guys... I think it's going to be a big one. So, let's talk about the books first. As you guys know, uh, there's a mini-series for books called Fazbear Frights. And in each book, there's three tales in the FNAF universe. Um, the first one has just came out, but I haven't received it yet. God damn it, Amazon. Uh, called Into the Pit. I did a preview uh, video of it earlier uh, last year. It feels weird saying last year. Um... And uh, it was a story about a boy who went to a pizzeria that used to be um, a, a Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria. He went into the ball pit and he went back in time and he saw Spring Bonnie and some of the kids and stuff. And it looked really interesting. And there's another two in that one as well. Um, and that's coming out that, That's coming out this month, okay? Uh, some people have already got it, but it comes out this month. Um, and it looks really exciting and I will do a review on that. I will read it. I probably won't be able to read the book to you guys. Um, I will email Scott and ask if I can read one or something. If you guys are interested, um, just let me know, please, in the comment section if you want me to do that. Uh, and that's the first one. The next is Fetch. Uh, if you remember, the cover was of a dog animatronic. Um, and um, I do know some information about that dog animatronic, guys. Spoiler warning. Uh, but there was a preview again, just like Into the Pit, that I still need to read. If you want me to do that, please let me know. It's about a dog animatronic that a boy finds at the pizzeria, I think. Um, and it's like a little mini device that can, like fetch items for for the boy uh, and it connects to mobile phones uh, which is really weird because it's super old but it can do that uh, it's again a re apparently uh, it's really interesting um, and I'm pretty sure that comes out in March yep so Into the Pit comes out March 2020 uh, so that's in two months time which is super super close really excited for that one as well um, and yeah um, again, if you want to see a preview of that, please let me know because I will do that for you guys. And that comes out in March. The next one, guys, uh, is called 1.35 AM. If you remember, I did a video on this before. And it's Ella. If you remember Ella, 
um, from the books, the original books of the little doll animatronic. Well, it looks like Ella to me. Um, and that comes out May 2020. So already three books in less than half a year. Uh, and again, three uh, stories about that. Uh, 1.35am is an interesting title to have this one. Um, but again, it looks interesting. That's coming in May. Uh, the next one, guys, uh, has only just been revealed for the cover called Step Closer. This is the fourth one. I don't know whether this has got a release date. It does. It's July. So it seems to be a, a Fazbear Fright book coming out every two months. Uh, January, March, May, July. And this one comes out in jo July. Um, and the cover has been shown. I've showed you it before. It's a Foxy. So there's going to be, out of the three stories, one about Foxy. It looks like FNAF 1 Foxy in Pirate Cove. So that one's going to be a good one. Um, and the what the next one, guys, is interesting. And I'm guessing that's going to come out in September. Um, and it's oh, the title of it has only just been revealed, guys. So this is new news just for you guys. It's called Bunny Call. Bunny Call. Not Bonnie. Bunny. Like a bunny rabbit. Uh, so that's interesting. Bunny Call. Is this going to be about Spring Bonnie? Is it going to be about Glitch Trap? Who knows? That's, we don't know anything about it yet. We don't know the cover. The cover will reveal what's, what's going on. Okay. Uh, if, if it's called Bunny Call, yeah, definitely. Um, the title for each book um, has the cover of that story. Okay. So Into the Pit is one of the stories out of the three. Okay. And the cover's Spring Bonnie in the Ball Pit. Fetch. That's one of the stories out of the three, and it shows the dog animatronic in that story. 1.35 a.m. is a story about Ella, um, and uh, Step Closer is going to be about Foxy, okay? So this bunny call is going to be one of the stories, and the front cover of the book will be about this bunny call. So when we get that, you'll see if it's going to be Spring Bonnie or Mal, Hair, Glitch Trap, whoever you, whoever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, that's exciting, and I will do a video on that when it's out. So those are the Fazbear Fright books coming out this year. There might be another one, because if Bunny Call comes out in September... There might be one in November, December for the last one. I don't know. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Speaking about the books, guys, if you didn't know, uh, there is a, um, a redesign of the Silver Eyes. The Silver Eyes came out back in 2015. They are releasing a comic book styled visualization of the book, and it looks really good. It's out now, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but mine hasn't came out. Mine hasn't came yet. I think mine comes this month. Uh, but just letting you know, uh, it is out now or it is coming out very, very soon uh, for people in the UK, US. Uh, people in the UK always get things late. Um, but yeah, it looks really cool. Here's some images of it. It looks good. Um, and it gives you some, um, you know, I like these because I know some kids and adults are like, don't like reading books. They'd rather read books with pictures, picture books. Um, and you get, it makes you imagine, imagine it a lot better when you see pictures, right? Um, so yeah, it's out. Um, so check it out if you want to. The next one, guys, is FNAF AR. I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, they released a teaser uh, yesterday, I'm pretty sure, um, about New Year. Um, it doesn't look like a teaser at first, but if you look on the gift boxes, uh, there are little teaser images of animatronics coming out this year. Funtime Freddy, Plush Trap, and Lefty, guys. So, Funtime Freddy, Plush Trap, and Lefty are going to be the next animatronics coming out for FNAF AR, which is really exciting. I've been talking to Kiran. Um, the CEO of Illumix on Twitter, and I've been giving him my ideas and stuff uh, of what of what people might want in the game. So that's exciting as well because they are listening to feedback. I'm pretty sure. So ideas that I've said and uh, they might listen to, uh, which is exciting. And if you guys have got any cool ideas for FNAF AR, please let me know because I do think it needs some replayability. Um, so I've had, like I said, a good idea would be a level up system, uh, more bonuses, uh, more events, um, 
XP to level up, and when you level up, um, you get rewards, good rewards, uh, more customization for the animatronics visually. Um, Frost, Freddy Frostbear was a great idea, and I think they should do more of stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be good, I think, because at the moment, guys, we're just doing one video for every like a new animatronic right it would be nice if they do a big bulky update where we can like do a few videos on it instead of just one a month do you know what i mean uh, but yeah it's still really really exciting fnaf vr help wanted the first fnaf vr i do think they are going to update it this year at some point before the 2020 game which i'm going to talk about in a sec um because of the showtime um, I really, they, I'm pretty sure, Scott, yeah, Scott said that they will use Showtime for something else uh, as an update, and they still haven't yet. So I'm really hoping they do do a Showtime still, because um, if not, it's pretty disappointing. If they didn't want to do anything with it, they should just remove, they should have just removed the button completely, and they haven't. So it still feels like they are doing something for that. Uh, fingers crossed they are and I think that's going to be the last update. I don't know whether they're going to do any more levels I really hope they do. I feel like they should um, Because I don't think it's over yet for FNAF VR um, If the 2020 game isn't in VR um, I feel like they should keep updating FNAF VR with new levels because the game still has so much potential um, for a wide variety of mini games that we haven't experienced yet. And I still feel like uh, Glitch Trap needs to be explained a bit more. Some of the things they put in FNAF VR, like the, when we were in that prison cell or whatever it was, um, the back, like the back room, whatever, that needs to ex be explained. Because um, it's still a bit confusing. Uh, but yeah, I feel like that they could do more with FNAF VR. So one more update maybe, I'm hoping. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I think that if they are if they are going to do an update, guys, they will release it before the 2020 game, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah. Uh, speaking about the 2020 game, uh, we still don't know a lot about it. I was really hoping that they were going to release a teaser for New Year's, New Year's Day, New Year's Eve because it's 2020 now. So I'm surprised they didn't show a teaser uh, for it yet. I feel like we'll get one very soon, I'm hoping. Um, but yeah, we haven't got anything yet. Um, I'm predicting a summer release, just like FNAF VR. I think FNAF VR came out in May. So around May to August, I think they'll release it. And then the FNAF VR DLC might be before then. Uh, that's what I'm predicting, um, and it looks exciting, it looks really good, and I'm hoping for a teaser soon, because, um, you know, to keep the hype going a little bit, um, you know, teasers always make some hype, um, so yeah, I think we'll get a teaser, I think we'll get a trailer or something around March, April, so yeah, the film, guys, the movie, Whoa. We haven't heard anything about the movie yet. All we know is that the script is finished, apparently. Um, so, yeah, that's good because they've been working on the script now for, what, five years? Uh, I think the movie was, like, confirmed to be happening in 2015, uh, which was five years ago. Um, so, yeah, I do feel like we're going to get something this year, not the movie. We're not going to get the movie this year, guys. Um, maybe 2021 or 2020, early 2022 is my prediction. Um, I think we will get a teaser this year for the movie. Um, like a, a movie poster or, you know, a cast, like some just some news of cast members. Who's going to be this character or this character? I feel like we're going to get something like that. And they, they will start filming it this year or um, early 2021, I think. Uh, that's what I think. Um, but other than that, I don't know. Um, it's very, very, very vague at the moment still. Um, or we'll get an update from Scott. Just We will know something about the movie this year, okay, guys? Um, I'll be very, 
very surprised if it's just dead uh, forever. Uh, the ports, guys, the FNAF ports, um, they will all be out this year. Um, I'm testing, currently testing Ultimate Custom Night for console, and I am testing FNAF 4 for mobile at the moment too. Um, so yeah, um, I, I feel like it will make in progress, and they will all be out this year, 100%. Um, and also guys, Scott's project. Um, Scott is going to work on something himself, okay? He always does, and he will. Um, last year he wo worked on the charity stream game that originally wasn't going to be um, a charity stream game. Originally it was going to be his own project that he changed to changed to a charity game uh, for MatPat Stream. Um, so yeah, he's going to be working on something this year, 100%. Um, I think he was I think he was into madness or his own project, something like that. Um, but yeah, still really exciting, and I think we will get something from Scott this year. Um, I don't know any predictions. No, uh, the only thing I can think of is FNAF Origins that I've been wanting for four years now. I just really want to see Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie back in the past. It'd be really nice to see uh, the 2020 game, not from Steel Wool, another company. If you remember, Scott was talking about that that he's found a third party company uh, for a triple A FNAF game uh, that is in the works um, at the moment. Well, he made an update about that um, a, 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 a earlier last year uh, saying that it's been uh, hold off for now. Um, I do feel like it's gonna get back on track this year and we are gonna get something, uh, an update on that this year. Okay, it's really, really exciting. Um, Steel Wool did an amazing job. Um, a AAA company title, like title will be amazing as well. Imagine both of those coming out this year. That would just blow, like, it would be a nuke in the water. Not just a little pebble, a nuke. It would freaking blow everything up if we got two major FNAF titles this year, including Scots as well. Speechless. That would be amazing. Um, just anything, guys. And as well as FNAF AR, remember, the updates of FNAF AR too. Um, but yeah, any update on the AAA game uh, would be amazing. Uh, I'm still thinking that it's going to have multiplayer. We will get a multiplayer FNAF-style game or mini-game this year. Okay, uh, if you remember in the files of FNAF VR, they were working on a multiplayer style game uh, called Flashlight Freeze. Um, so whether they put that on FNAF VR, FNAF VR's next DLC, uh, if they're working on it still, or they move it to the 2020 Steel Wool game, who knows? I do feel like we're going to get a multiplayer experience in FNAF. Because that has so much potential, guys. It really, really does. Um, and exciting times ahead. Like, seriously. I'm not kidding around here. Or lying to you guys. If FNAF is implemented in a multiplayer-styled game or mini-game, it would be crazy. Um, it has so much potential. Animatronics versus Night Guards. Um, or... You know, something like that, a co-op experience, um, free roam multiplayer, anything like that, just, it would just be perfect. It really would. We already know something about that um, case animatronics uh, was a game that we've been playing throughout the years. Um, it's just something like that, a dead, st a dead by daylight styled game, four night guards roaming around, one animatronic. Uh, we have to fix generators or whatever, like a fetch quest. Just anything like that would just be amazing. And, you know, if a AAA company makes it or Steel Wool, it will work. It will work, okay? It, it will just be amazing. And that I think that's the most exciting thing I'm looking forward to. If FNAF is implemented in a multiplayer-style experience. Um, because... That has so much replayability. Multiplayer is is the like is the peak of replayability. 
okay? A single player is fine, story mode's fine, of course it is, but multiplayer with a level up system or something like that makes you stay on the game. Okay, as much as I love the FNAF games and any other ga any game with single player games, I play it once and maybe do a like a, a harder difficulty, and that's it. Okay, that's it. The only things that make me come back are DLCs, uh, stuff like that. Multiplayer, though, you guys know what, what I mean, right? Uh, it's not just me, hopefully. Like, you just keep going back on the game. You, you wake up in the morning, you go, I'm bored, I'm going to play this game with friends, or I'm going to play it on my own and level up and unlock this and this and this. I want to get to the max rank. Like, multiplayer is just where it is, okay? And I really, really do think that there's a lot of potential for a FNAF multiplayer game, okay? And that's it, guys, I'm pretty sure. Um, if I've missed anything, I apologise, but um, I don't think I have. Uh, no, I think that's it for 2020 for now. We don't know yet if anything else is going to be added. Uh, if, if something does happen, you know I'll make a video on it. I'll, if a new teaser comes out, you know I'm here, okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and it helped you get a recap about what's going on in 2020 with Five Nights at Freddy's. A really exciting year if this all comes to plan. If all of this, what I've mentioned, is this year, it's going to be a crazy year, guys. There's no doubt about it. It will be the best year of FNAF. 2019 was the best year of FNAF um, out of, out of, since 2014, I'd say. A lot of cool stuff happened last year. But if everything I've mentioned comes out this year, it's going to be a crazy year. Okay, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for Scott for making all this happen and working with companies, uh, you know, books and authors and game designers and other game companies, just everything, filmmakers. Uh, uh, it's it's, it's going to be uh, interesting. Lots of love. Thanks for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you all next time and have a great 2020.